another week's grocery shopping complete as we try to do our social distance best. What did I get? Well, it's another Easter treat coming at you, and we'll take a look at it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another Easter countdown slack USA style. And we'll get to it in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Easter snacks related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football, whatever it comes back related, boys and girls, and we're getting it all here. And no one, Rowski, that's right. Yeah, we do have the old masks. The wife's been very, very busy on the old sewing machine, ripping them out. Uh, but yes, for this snack, we are going to require the kettle. We're going to switch that sucker on and have a, hopefully, have a nice cup of tea. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, and enjoy this rather sweet. Uh, I've never had these before, of course, in any variant uh, Easter snack. And it is something right up my alley. So let's pop the kettle on, hit the switch, and let's go. Taste of England's finest, Tetley's British blend, nothing but the best. Here she clicks. There she blows. Slap a bit of water in the old cup of tea and let the old tea bag stew. And of course, one for the wife. Teaspoon of sugar, uh, a glug of milk. Be sure to give the old tea bag a bit of a good old squeeze, get all the goodness out of that sucker. Push it up against, ah, shite. Push it up against the uh, side of the cup, squeeze it all out. And there you have it. And that's your cup of tea sorted. So today we're gonna to get our jaws stuck into this bad boy, an Easter marshmallow puff. What did you call me? I'm a straight married man, I'll tell you that. Don't go call me no Easter marshmallow puff. But no, for seriously, we're gonna get our teeth stuck into this sucker. Never had one of these. And boy, oh boy, don't they look delicious. Little Debbie on the old picture there. Retro, that's right. So we're gonna chuck, chuck these bad boys out. And I'm very, very excited. I like marshmallow snackaroos. Uh, for your nutritional, or well, if you want to know any nutritional information, it's on the screen right about now. So, uh, yeah, 170 calories for these bad boys. Oh, yes. Huh? One or two? One, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's for one. Uh, you need to get a, an engineer to get into the package because it's like super glued, stuck like no man. Maybe there's a tear off somewhere. Probably. I don't know, don't even, but it does look good on the packaging. So what, how close to the money do you think they'll look like? Do you think they'll look like anything like that? So it should be like a sort of like a, like a, like a donut or something like that with a hard shell on it. But here we go, this is what they look like. Whoa, whoa, that's upside down. There you go, there you go. That's the size, scale wise to my face. Yeah, that's about the size of an ear. So here we go. So the picture does, well, I think it's gonna go ripped off here with the old sprinkles. Uh, Luna, what's up here? What's this? What's this, Luna? Hop, hip, hop, hop. Oh, get in there. Luna's up there having a little snifferoo on that bad boy just to get the Luna seal of approval. But it's still sealed. She ain't gonna get teeth into that sucker. Ain't her right, Gorge? There she is. Hello, get. Oh, she's, she's camera shy. She just wants to be heard and not seen. But anyway, yeah, I got mugged off here with the, with the old sprinkles. Got about six on there, whereas the picture shows about 60. So there must be some in there stuck. Maybe they, they come in a, a separate package or something and you sprinkle them on after. I don't know, but I think I got mugged off. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to get into this Marshmallow Puff Extraordinaire by Little Debbie. And I tell you what, this bastard is soft as can be. It is soft, and there's one, two, or three of them six sprinkles I've got it's just flopped off there. So this is soft, and it is melting. It's got a sort of hard coating on the outside. It's got some sort of a sponge in the middle. Maybe it's like a snowball, an American snowball, and they're good. And we'll do a video on that, I'm sure, but anyway, soon. But anyway, we're gonna get stuck into this marshmallow puff. What did you call me? Uh, but in just a second, here we go. First bite. Smells like cake. Oh, man. Spongy. Oh yeah, that's the innards, right there. That is weird. Weird, but delightful. I like it. Mm. Yeah. Now does it go, uh, does it accompany my British cup of tea uh, accordingly? I've got, the, I've got the wrong cup. This cup is, is makes the cut the tea blazing. I thought it would have cooled down by now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It goes well. It goes well. Now, in England, they do uh, they do some things kind of like snow. I think they call snowballs like this with coconut on the outside. 
They are the bomb. We used to smuggle them. I mean, uh, bring them back uh, uh, when we would go to the UK and, um, and have them in our, in our luggage. But they would come out flat, obviously, because they are so delicate. And I think these are just the same. But yeah, four bites. Four bites in a marshmallow puff, despite the size. And I think that's a winner. I think maybe, you know, have it in proper chocolate on the outside, then you, you'll be all right. But that is not bad. The sponge at the bottom is a bit, is a bit fragile and delicate and you could put your thumb through that, no question. It is that delicate and the, and the, and the stuff is flaking off like um, somebody with a bad sunscreen, sunburn, skin all over the shop. Right for me? That's a good one. I'm gonna give that a respectable eight out of 10. And I'll probably eat another one before I hit the sack. Anyway, that's a short, sharp Easter treat. Got the ears on for you, just special. And of course, I, uh, I've done my grocery shopping for the rest of the week. We've got a couple more left now, folks. What is it, Thursday, we've got Friday, and then Saturday, so two more to go. Hang in there, and then we're gonna be back to normal just Tuesdays and Thursdays with the reviews, because these have been quite tough. I'm, gonna, I'm getting on the pounds for all these sweets and treats. Anyway, until then, be, be sure to give this video some love, and smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, and we'll see ya. Tomorrow, happy Easter. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.